Aloha. Uh, mahalo to ICAP for inviting me here, especially Malia for uh, helping me out so much and getting me here. Uh, my name is Spipots, Spipots, my traditional name is Spipots, Brian Cladisby, and been on my tribal council 28 years now. Well, it's 85, not 95, I better get my bio uh, fixed there. I'll try to make this real quick, but I just uh, uh, want you to know we're the Swinomish Indian tribal community. We're about a our north of uh, Seattle, we are salmon people. We are a Coast Salish fishing tribe, uh, living at sea level and uh, along the coastline of our tribal reservation. And uh, on a, if you're familiar with the San Juan Islands, uh, we're on an island also. It's the Fidelgo Island, uh, right there, about an hour north of Seattle. And we are a place-based society. We are place-based. That doesn't. That means that you know we can't move in like the colonialists and take all the natural resources and go to another area. You know, we're, we're there forever, we're there forever. We're not going anywhere, and we've resided where our homeland is for, for thousands of years. And um, just real quick here, go through this here. There's the, uh, the Salish Sea, and that's quite an interesting story. Uh, we got six governments to agree to change the this, this Strait of Georgia, the Juan de Fuca, and the Puget Sound uh, two years ago to rename that whole thing to the Salish Sea, and it took about 25, 30 years to do that. We're right in the very center of the Salish Sea there, and so um, it's, it's a very beautiful place. Not quite as beautiful as the Hawaiian Islands, but real close. <laughs> uh, this year was a celebration that we had in the Salish Sea when the governments came together. Uh, the, the, first, the first native bands from Canada, the, the tribes from Washington, uh, Washington State, uh, British Columbia government, the United States government, and government of Canada from Ottawa came together. And it was uh, quite a big celebration. So once again, there's Swinomish right there, right in the middle of uh, the Salish Sea. Uh, this is our reservation right here. There's, you can't see it very well, but there's water all around our reservation there. And you can barely see the Skagit River coming out right down there. Right here, we are um, salmon people. We uh, do fish. Uh, oops, this, um, this, this young man right there, 78 years old, that's my dad. Still goes out there and picks the net by hand. This 62-year-old young man right there is my uncle. That's his deckhand. <laughs> There's my uh, um, granddaughter right there. That's me right there holding about a 45-pound king salmon. And. Uh, uh, here is uh, the entrance to our homeland there. That's a bridge that goes across to our homeland there at Swinomish. This is a celebration that we have every year. Uh, you know, we're, my talk is on traditional knowledge, contemporary knowledge, and decision making. And every year we have a celebration uh, thanking our creator for allowing us to have the salmon every year. And so we return back the first salmon to the waters, thanking our creator for allowing us to have that bountiful um, catch of salmon. And uh, there I am, just right there, right in the middle of there. This is my vice chair right there, the tribe, and uh, well-respected uh, elder right there, I want to see uh, We have all kinds of tribal services facilities that we offer to our people. Uh, food for the body, food for the spirit, all of our traditional foods that we have. And, you know, we um, love all of the foods, you know. Just like here, you know, when the tide's out, the table's set. Yeah? Same, same. So we have uh, um, all of the, you know, salmon, halibut, clams, oysters, crab, herring, smelt, flounder, mussels, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, prawns, shrimp. When the tide's out, the table's set. Uh, right here, uh, some of our blessing of the fleet. That's the king salmon and the crab and some berries going back. Uh, you know, we're having more and more increasing storms in the area where we live, uh, just like uh, everybody else is starting to see uh, sea level rise, increasing intense storms, threatening our people, our infrastructure, and our reservation. There's sea level rise there. That's our uh, tribal fish company uh, right here. And uh, we're, we're witnessing this. This is a very, I'm not sure, if, how many of you heard of the canoe journey, Coast Salish canoe journey? We, 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 host it, uh, we host it every year, and what we do, what, we, what Swinomish has taken the initiative is we, we've uh, partnered with uh, USGS, and uh, um, back there in the Salish Sea, we have canoes that come from all areas of the Salish Sea, and what we're able to do with USGS is we were able to partner with them, and our, uh, our traditional um, elders, our elders agreed that we needed to start looking 
closely, more closely at the environment. And so what we did is we took these, USGS took these very, very sophisticated probes and um, they're GPS and they monitor, I'm not a scientist, so they monitor uh, the acidification, they, the temperature, uh, all of the, you know, the real time. You can go on the website and check out our work. It's, uh, we're hoping to have this work um, as a worldwide model uh, for other cultures around the world, native cultures to use. But what we do is we tie these uh, monitors behind the canoes and they drag them in. Uh, what makes this uh, very uh, unique uh, in our situation is that the canoes uh, do not have props. They do not have um, exhaust from the gas fumes and the diesel fumes, and so we're able to get uh, real time with n no interruptions, you know, just nice paddling. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's, it's really cool how we've uh, taken uh, the traditional culture and we've taken, uh, um, you know, advanced knowledge and joined them together to create this uh, fascinating, uh, I believe you call it Hokilao? Is that right? Hokilao? Did I do, say that right? Close? Help me out. Hukilau. Huki, Hukilau. We, we have the same version of Hukilau here on our reservation where we lay a net out, put it in a circle, pull it in, and we can, um, I do this type of fishing in. Uh, my best bet was about 17,000 pounds of pink salmon in about eight minutes. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, here's the Skagit River. What's very unique about the Skagit River is that, in, of course, we've got a lot of snow there. You know, Mount Baker records, it's a ski, ski area about an hour, about 60 miles the way the crow flies from us, about an hour and a half away. And Mount Baker records more snow than any place else in the lower 48s, as far as, you know, how skiers measure the base when they go skiing. Well, Mount Baker gets the most. Uh, what we're seeing, though, is we're just like every place else around the world, our glaciers in the Cascades are disappearing. And uh, what's, you, nobody knows this about the Skagit River, but there's only one river in the lower 48 that still has every species of wild salmon still spawning in its tributaries. One. One river in the lower 48. That's the Skagit River. That's the river that we live on, that we fish on, that we've relied on for our food for since time immemorial. And so we take protecting this gadget and the salmon very serious. And, uh, you know, we, um, there's mist uh, come above there, there's some more canoe journey pictures. Uh, what we did is, uh, we uh, didn't wait around. Uh, there's 565 tribes in the nation. And we were the first tribe in the nation to get our climate change adaptation plan approved by the federal government at a time when only 32 of the 50 states had gotten their plan approved by the federal government. So we didn't wait around. We took the initiative, and I, and I like to tell people that I have two PhDs. They, bro they both work for me in my planning department. <laughs> my elder always told me, always surround yourself with people smarter than you, and when they do good, they'll make you look good. So, you know, we took the initiative. We went out there, and we, you know, brought together some of the best minds in our area. And we came up with a SC squared group. It's called the Skagit Climate Science Group. And what they've done is they've done some amazing work in our area. And they get together quite often. And it was an initiative that was pulled together by Swinomish. But here's just some of the threats to the Skagit River uh, that we are seeing um, over time here. And in hopes of saving time, I'll just go through it. Here's our fishing fleet. <coughs> Uh, here's our fish company, and um, there's only, we, we, two minutes left, thank you. Our fish company is, uh, is very unique, and uh, we, we do, uh, we took that over about three years ago, and we did about two and a half million in sales two years ago, we did about 10 million in sales last year, and we did about 15 million in sales this year, and we do a lot of salmon, uh, we export a lot of caviar to Europe and Japan, and so uh, we do a lot of Dungeness crab. We just got done doing halibut. Uh, when I left s Saturday, they had their first halibut opening. And so, you know, uh, and we have a huge canning operation right here. And they're 
back in the day, there used to be 37, 39 canning operations in our area. Now there's only two left. We're one of the two. And so, you know, protecting this gadget, having a place uh, for people to come. And we've worked with 14 tribes this year, including one in Canada, to uh, buy salmon from them. And so, you know, we, I got my shirt on here, little native catch, Swinomish tribe. And so, you know, protecting this gadget, protecting the environment, getting ahead of the curve as a tribe is something that uh, we wanted we wanted to be the decision makers on this and assemble the best team that we could and so um, I thank you for allowing me to come into your homeland I thank God for allowing me to be here and uh, I know this year was really quick but that's okay you got a little snapshot of Swinomish we're very progressive uh, we uh, we are very um, out there and uh, we're recognized across the nation and now we're recognized in Hawaii and in our language, we go like this and we say, O C um. O C um. O C um. Mahalo.